Whenever I see a celebrity involved in an ugly situation, terrible scandal, or horrifying crime, I always see at least one person comment, just remove the art from the artist. But what this situation has taught me is that I simply can't do that. I cannot turn a blind eye in support or make excuses for someone who goes against my morals and beliefs. Words cannot express what I'm feeling right now. A few days ago, I was scrolling on Twitter and I came across an article about Hannah's new relationship. The article referenced Hannah's recent Instagram post where she held hands with the mystery man walking down a beach. The caption included a couple emoji and a comment that read, quote, please view us favorably. A common phrase in Korea, asking for support or a blessing. Curiosity got the better of me and I took a peek in the comments and found out she was romantically involved with former Beast slash Highlight member Yong Jun Hyung. I know nothing about him except for the fact that he was her former label mate at Cube and featured on her solo debut track, Change. I was ready to support her new relationship until I read even further down the comments and came across less than positive reactions to the news. Not because she entered a new relationship, but because of the reason why this man left his group to begin with. And what I read left me speechless. Spoiler alert, turns out Hyanna's alleged new man was involved in one of the most horrific cases to come out of South Korea to date. For those of you who are not familiar with the case or need a refresher, the Burning Sun scandal brought to light the systematic corruption in South Korea and implicated well-known figures in the Korean entertainment industry. The case takes its name from the Gangnam nightclub, Burning Sun, which was tied to Sung Lee, a former member of the globally known boy group, Big Bang, and former Burning Sun club director. Well-connected, high-powered foreign individuals were known to frequent this establishment and pick up women. However, several accounts surfaced that alleged the club staff was supplying substances to their VIP clients to use on unsuspecting female club goers. In return, the club employees would receive a big tip for their service. On January 28, 2019, NBC News Desk reported on a related case about a male club goer who attended Burning Sun in November 2018. However, what started as a police investigation into a South Korean nightclub spiraled into an ever-widening case where celebrities, well-connected individuals, and police officials were involved in interconnecting crimes. Examinations into Sung Lee's involvement led to the discovery of a group chat on Kakaotalk, a Korean messaging app. The chat rooms included Molka, a Korean word for the online distribution of illegal content taken of women. During the investigation, it was found that once beloved singer and variety star Jung Jun Young, also known as JJY, had shared such content in multiple chat rooms. Other celebrities affiliated with the group chats or illegal content supplied by JJY included CM Blue's Lee Jong Hyun, FT Island's Che Jung Hoon, Kwon Hyuk Jun, brother of Girls' Generation Yuri, and you guessed it, highlights Jung Jun Hyung. All men involved resigned from their respective groups, yet. Only JJY, Choi Jong Hoon, Kwon Hyuk Jun, and Sung Lee received prison sentences for their crimes. Now, here's why fans are upset with Hyanna's new boyfriend. It was reported that Young was initially accused of being a part of the group chats in an expose, which included screenshots of him in the chats. Initially, he denied the accusations, and it was proven that his messages in the larger chat room were edited. However, during his departure announcement from Highlight, he took to Instagram to apologize and explain the situation regarding the one-on-one -on -one chat he had with JJY. You can pause the screen to read the full statement, but to summarize, the singer clarified his involvement, admitting to viewing a video sent by JJY in a one-on-one -on -one chat room and also admitted to speaking, quote, inappropriately, but did deny sending any illegal content himself. He was never charged with anything and was treated more like a witness during the investigation. And although he became aware of these extremely immoral acts by at least JJY, he admits, quote, I knew of what was happening at the time. I thought it was not a big deal and was too relaxed. I was a silent observer to this serious problem, where my actions could have led to even more victims. Young would remain out of the spotlight until November 2022, when he released an EP titled Loner. The singer conducted an online press conference ahead of the release, where the incident did come up. Young answered, I was not involved in any kind of group chat. However, I full-heartedly admit that I committed wrongdoings in the process of chatting, and I regret not having corrected myself. It sickens me to say this, but since then, this man, who was an active bystander in the Burning Sun case, has successfully kept his platform, held several fan sign events, 
and his follower count continues to increase. Naturally, the shared Instagram post by the two singers and Hannah allegedly liking a fan's comment sharing their support for the couple spark rumors that the two idols were romantically involved. Both artists' label opted not to comment on their singers' private lives. However, Young took to the paid messaging platform from, Yes, people are still paying to be in his fan cafe. He mentioned that he and Hannah are bringing, quote, positive energy to each other's lives and have asked fans to give their blessing. Since the couple's post, Kenna updated her Instagram post with her getting her makeup done for an advertising shoot, but has since deleted it. I don't know if she was asked to delete it by the affiliated brand or she decided to delete it herself. There is also evidence suspecting that the couple have been in a relationship since November of last year. Since their lovegram, Kenna has lost over 100k followers on Instagram and some of her big fan accounts are shutting down. I know there will be a few individuals still confused and asking why Hannah's receiving so much public backlash, even though Young was the one involved in the Burning Sun scandal. So let me answer that for you. You see, Hannah was an inspiring figure in the Korean entertainment industry for many individuals, whether you want to believe it or not. She is someone who entered the industry at the tender age of 14, lost her youth and innocence to said industry, and used her experience to speak out about these issues, most commonly through her music. Her work post-Cube commonly included themes of female empowerment, self-expression, and uplifting women, leaving many, myself included, to see her as an empowering figure. This relationship contradicts everything some of us thought she stood for. She made the decision to proudly date an active bystander in one of the most horrific cases to come out of Korea, a case that ruined the lives of many women, leaving them with lifelong trauma. And the cherry on top, she proudly posted him on her Instagram with 18 million followers. People on the internet and Hannah's fanbase, Aang, are openly criticizing the idol for her continued relationship with the male singer. From what I saw in my timeline, it was only international fans outrage with the news. But with time, I found out Hannah occupied three of the top five daily most viewed articles on Naver the day the news broke, totaling to around 2 million views. Since then, dozens of other articles have been released, each full of negative reactions from Knets. While I'm relieved to see people calling out the couple, this does not permit anyone to make tone death memes about the case just so you can get your likes or your two seconds of fame on the internet. I've seen too many people turning the Burning Sun case into some weird nostalgic phase, people tracking who's following who, and even people mentioning other celebrities who are not involved in the case or spreading misinformation. This is not the time to make a joke, but to take this seriously. For over 10 years, I have admired Hannah's art and what I thought she stood for, but I will not turn a blind eye or make excuses for someone who goes against my morals. As some of you know, about a month ago, I made a video focusing on Hannah and the objectification she faced growing up in the industry. It was an important video to me and a love letter to her work, but I have since privated the video. While my video brings up an important conversation about the ongoing issues in the industry, I cannot have a video praising someone who I thought represented my beliefs. This current issue has reminded me, and hopefully others, that we do not know these celebrities, only the front they allow us to see. And I'm deeply disappointed in myself that I participated in projecting this image that Hannah is not. When my platform began to grow, I made a promise to myself that I would use my voice to bring awareness to issues and stories about the dangers of the entertainment world, but also highlight stories of artists who left a positive impact on the industry. I will continue to do my part with this platform you have given me and hope you can understand my decision. This video feels long overdue and I'm sorry I couldn't talk about it sooner. I was on vacation when the news broke and wanted to talk about it but needed time and space from everything going on and basically collect my feelings. Before I end today's video, I want to remind you that I have only scratched the surface in regards to the Burning Sun case, but I have left several links to resources in the description and pinned comment. I implore you to do your own research and form your own opinions. Thank you for listening.